Hello darklings, I beat him. She does, regularly. That's why I'm now in a wheelchair. <laughs> I couldn't get out of the way fast enough. <clears throat> right, we've had great mail. We have. Would you like to tell them what it is? Uh, it's the Vapros version. Vap no, good, I don't yes, know. Yes, no, you were right. Yeah, Vapros, it's a Vapros. Vap Vapros version 1. Or V1. Oh, V1, yeah. Yeah. There. It's quite easy to hold. It's not light, but it's not over heavy. Um, and it looks quite good. But unfortunately, that's where it stops. We found that it activated itself. Well, what I suspect is happening, to be more precise, is the button, as you can see, it's quite proud, is not releasing properly. And every so often, it's staying on. Now, the first time it happened, it happened in my in my bum bag. You know, it's a little device if you're I not think, a British. I think, I think the Americans call it a fanny pack. A fanny pack. Yeah. Okay. Beep. Beeps. <laughs> that's, my, that's my fluke. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it activated, and I thought it, it's activated in, in, you know, it's the bag. It's, push, it's pushed against, against something, something and it's activated pressed. itself. Yeah. Um, but that was the reason I got akin to that one is, is the fact steam's coming out, and it was assaulting my nose while I was driving. So obviously, we stopped the car and, uh, and unscrewed that a bit, which was red hot. But the juice, which was in there, was down the side and down there. Uh, now that raised the question uh, there is if you listen to this let me put it at six volt for you wait a minute let's switch on the display so i can see what i'm doing now this like most devices out there has a safety feature built into it and that is if you press it One, you can hear it's two, activating three four five six seven eight now, did you see the lock icon come up at the display there? Just there. You see? Padlock. It means that it switches off after a certain amount of seconds. So why did it boil the juice? Why did it carry on going? How did it bypass that to boil the juice enough to have it running down the side there and have me having to do that on a very, very hot atomizer to cool it down? Anyway, got back, put it on my desk, and started doing stuff as you do on your computers, mm -hmm. and uh, noticed, after a little amount of time, that there was an awful lot of steam coming out of the top of this. Again. Yep. So, uh, at that point, I knew that we had a problem. Item number two. And you can see it's item number two, because it has less on the total puff count. Now it's actually a bit higher than what it should be, and the reason for that is I've been doing that on and off. It's still, it's still crackling. It did over a second there. I'll show you a voltmeter on what, what happens when you do yeah, that. Yeah, when you turn it on. Turn In fact, I'll show you that now. Okay, we're just going to do a little voltage test now. Uh, it's depressed for the Vapros V1. Um, now the reason why I'm showing you this is I was trying to get it to uh, replicate its self-heating. Um, now I didn't get that on these clips, but watch what happens. You, you look at the screen there when I, well, release the button. So it's 5.3. Now look how slowly that's actually climbing down. That's battery voltage there, which was after about four seconds, and it's still putting it through. Now it's zero. Have another look. So set for five three and then straight off again. It doesn't switch off very fast at all. There's double click there. Very interesting. Very interesting. Usually they just turn off. Not the Vapros. Well, more to be explained. So as you can see, it doesn't exactly switch itself off very fast, does it? Um, but this came as a completely new unit. Um, so I thought, right, okay, now I can do a balanced view on it. And I, I would have still mentioned, obviously, that unit number one had that problem, uh, just in case. So imagine my surprise after receiving this yesterday, less than 24 hours later, excuse me, I've got a bit of a nick up. Uh, it sat on my desk after use with a pile of steam coming out the top again because it hadn't switched itself off again on a new unit 
Why is it not switching off? What's wrong with the switch? It's got to be something to do with that switch. And no, even if it's something wrong with the switch... There's something wrong with the inner. There's something because, wrong with the circuitry it, because it it's bypassing the 10 yeah. second cutout. Yeah. And it shouldn't be doing that. Can okay. you imagine having this in your trouser pocket for you gentlemen? And this is exactly it. And it, it starts boiling, boiling over, so you've got a lovely stain on the front of your trousers, and then it starts burning your pocket lining. Well, I think you'd know that point, but that, that's that's not the point. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't really matter even if you have this in your pocket or whether you have it in a handbag with papers and stuff like that. You have a device which is not safe. It isn't safe. There's no way to beat about it. If it's going to keep activating enough to boil the juice, if you've got something like a Mega on there, uh, it's going to take it after a while, then it's going to start burning it down. If you've got a normal Atty on there, it's probably going to blow your Atty, let's be honest. But in something like that, you stand a very good chance of giving yourself a nasty burn or causing damage to yourself or your property. Um, there is no way that that unit should be able to keep firing it should not be able to do it. This is not isolated. I've got two items now which have suffered the same thing. My advice, personally, with what's happened to these units in my care, uh, is walk away. And uh, really it comes down to a safety issue. It, it does. There's no, no gentle way to say it. It is a safety issue. If it can get hot enough to boil the juice in there, that is a safety issue. It should not be happening at all. Okay, now this is sat on my desk. It's not activated by me, and as you can see, my hand's here and the other one's holding the camera. And you can plainly see that's on my desk. Let's have a look at the temperature read out there. 60. It is at 60, 62, 64. This is what I was hoping to get on film. This is the Vapros V1. Alright, this is a device that has a 10 second cutout. If you hold the button in for more than 10 seconds, it switches itself off. But it doesn't seem to be doing that here, does it? Listen. It's still firing. If that's in your pocket, you saw the temperature there. And that was, that was and a, trust that, me, that is correct, because that is red bloody hot. The temperature is of the plastic mouthpiece, which won't be conducting the heat as much as the metal body parts are. Oh my, I'm getting that. Oh, there's bits of smoke coming off there. There we go. As you can see now, we now have the. Uh, we can actually see it on the camera. Does that show? No, it's no white, we're trying. We're it's trying white to steam, show it. isn't it? Trying you to. Made it white. That's it. Now you can see the vape. Now you can see that's the liquid boiling off. That 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 wisp of smoke there. This is a device with a 10 second cut off, which likes to fire on its own. If you imagine that's in your pocket, whoa! whoa. <laughs> that's in your pocket. In your handbag, wherever. That is dangerous. Avoid these like the plague, people. This is a safety alert. Do you want to all right. Turn it off. It's getting me yeah, worried. I'm um, but as it stands at the moment, people, uh, it looks very nice on on the web page. It may look very nice on the description. My personal advice to you is walk away. Don't touch them. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs>